Specially invited, invited guests, guests of honor, beloved parents, renowned scholars, honorable memorizers of the noble Quran, and community leaders. I welcome you all to this fine evening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, this is a very blessed evening with an air of enthusiasm and atmosphere of spirituality. And I feel that I am quite honored to be here this evening to welcome you all to this fine program. And it's quite unique that we have got the most distinguished personalities who are blessed with the last testament who were able to memorize it all. And on behalf of Indian Social Forum and Jeddah National Hospital, it's our privilege to welcome you all again to this program this fine evening. First of all, let me welcome the distinguished guest of the day, the very brilliant and blessed young prodigy from the city of Hyderabad, Telangana State of India. Yes, he is none other than Hafiz Abdullah Abdul Mateen Othmani. I welcome him. And I would like to say a few words about him. As you all know it, again, I'm very proud to say that. He's from India, and of course his parents are more blessed. And may Allah, the Almighty, bless them with all the blessings and health and prosperity to follow the right path in the future, inshallah. He has been doing this and with his relentless efforts to memorize Quran was the result of the result of his wish of his parents and the encouragement that led to learn Quran and Tajweed from the Madrasa Ma'ad bin Jabal. And later on he enrolled himself in another school named Darul Furqan, where he completed the memorizing of Quran, if I'm right, inshallah. Which took four years from his time, but it is the most blessed time, inshallah, again. And the Holy Quran, he learned it by heart. And he is able to win the best or the most coveted position run by the Khoyarukum contest, contest run by at the Makkah region, last time which you all know, and is the alumnus of International Indian School as well. During the course of his memorizing, Hafiz Abdullah Uthmani had obtained the opportunity to meet with most eminent scholars like Sheikh Ayman Rushdi Suwaid, whose guidance helped him to learn Quran and Tajweed, and his regular listening of the recitation of Holy Quran by the renowned Imam of Makkah, Sheikh Abdurrahman Sadeh, which helped him to learn faster. He memorized the Quran completely within the four years, as I told you, but it was last year only the officials of Masjid Al-Azizia advised him to appear for the memorization contest. And he won the contest, and of course, he was able to do that with all the guidance and supervision of Sheikh Hamza Rayyan, Imam and Khatib of the Masjid. Inshallah, today he is with us, and of course, he will have his words with us, and we'll be very happily looking forward to listen his words again. I welcome him from the bottom of my heart because it is the most blessed time for me, as I feel that it's the most coveted position for him and his parents. Next, I would like to welcome our guest, the down-to-earth personality, but a very known, well-known person. He is none other than Mr. VP Muhammad Ali himself. He is the chairman and managing director of Jeddah National Hospital. And the hospital is quite well-known with the three-letter word JNH. Today, on behalf of Muhammad Ali Sahib, Mr. Ashraf Moedin, the director of finance of Jeddah National Hospital, 
will inaugurate the program, inshallah. And I warmly welcome him to this function and to this program. <laughs> Next, I would like to welcome Mr. Ashraf. He is the regional president of Indian Social Forum, who is more known as Ashraf Moreir, who has been actively involved in all the social activities and social services related to the expatriate Indian community, thanks to his dedication and sincere involvement to solve the issues of the expatriate Indians in the Western region beyond their rank, religion, or status. Now, I welcome him again, and I would like to welcome engineer Muhammad Naveed, the director of information technology for Jadda National Hospital as well. I would like to welcome also the well-known speaker, Sheikh Mukhtar Ahmad Jamia. He is a very simple person, but with a profound knowledge of Quran, and uh, which equip him to provide necessary awareness and possible solution to almost all the issues that ex affects the expatriates in the present scenario in India also. Inshallah, he would deliver a few words and while we are honoring the brilliant prodigy Hafiz Abdullah Abdul Madin Athwani for his remarkable achievement. On this occasion, Sheikh Mukhtar Ahmed Jamiai will add a few words and we will be listening to him, inshallah. Next, I would like to welcome Zakaria Ahmed Biladi, a person who does not need any introduction or profile to be conveyed to any of the expatriate community. He is a common person, not only among the Urdu-speaking expatriates in Jeddah, but more familiar to the South Indian community like me and the rest of the people are here, thanks to his social service and educational supporting activities. I warmly welcome him to this program. And next I would like to welcome Mr. Ashraf Patatin, the marketing manager of Jeddah National Hospital who does not wish to limit his service to the patients or clients, but to the entire community who benefits from, who benefits from him through his discourses in the weekly programs conducted in the hospital here. Next, I would like to welcome another eminent personality, Dr. Muhammad Hussein Mania. By profession, he is a medical doctor with an FRCS degree, bearing an experience of more than three decades in the kingdom. He has been in King Abdulaziz University in Jeddah more for more than two decades and presently is working in Bukshan Hospital. I welcome him to this program and inshallah he is here. And next I would like to welcome Abdurrab Qureshi, the geology instructor at the Saudi Japanese Automobile High Institute in Jeddah. Inshallah he will enlighten us with his valuable words and views. I hope that I do not take any of your time and which you are waiting for the programs to be held later on here. I welcome you all once again and I wish you a very fine evening with a blessed discourse from the eminent personalities who will convey their message and please be listening to them and I hope I have conveyed the message of welcoming to you all who are here who accepted our invitation and who took the time, even though it is late. I welcome you all once again to this function and this is program of honoring the Quran memorizers who are in front of me. I, I, tell, I would like to tell you once, one thing that here we have the best time of our life and the most blessed people are your parents who supported you and who will be benefiting, and the entire community will be benefiting out of that. And I welcome all our office bearers, the regional president of Indian Fret India Fraternity Forum, Mr. Muhammad Faizuddin, and the vice presidents, and all those who made this program a fantastic evening with an outstanding, unique atmosphere. And I welcome you all and again and again, and please stay with us for this time most distinct, distinct and unique evening of the day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.